Hello guys, Craig Frost here. Welcome to a Juicy Tuts review. And today we're going to be looking at Google Chrome versus Safari on the new iPad. Now we have two iPads here. Both of them are identical iPads. Both of them are the new iPad. The only difference is the one on the right is white and the one on the left is black. Um, I don't know how much difference that makes between the two. Um, shouldn't be any difference to be honest. Um, so I think the way we're going to do this is I'm going to open up Chrome on the left and I'll open up Safari on the right and we'll go to a website, see, uh, we'll do it a couple of times, see which ones load faster and um, then we'll swap them over and we'll open up Chrome over here and Safari over here just to check that there was no difference in iPad. I literally haven't done this yet um, myself so I literally don't know if there's going to be any difference. Um, I'm just interested to see if there is a speed difference because some people say Chrome is faster than Safari I'm not so sure I know it's faster to use I mean you've got these tabs along the top here just like in um, in the computer version and then again Safari has the tabs along the side there that you've always had you've got a search box here that you can use um, for address and search I think it's called an Omnibox over on Safari you still have the address bar and search box separately so that kind of slows you down a little bit I guess but the actual performance um, let's see so let's pick a website to go to uh, I think if we choose um, I don't know let's choose dailymail.co.uk so that's ready over there and then I've got to reach a little bit for this one well, look at that, you've got to click cross on Safari. That's another thing to slow you down there. You didn't have to do it on the Chrome. It automatically cleared it. Dailymail.co.uk Sorry, slow typing. I'm reaching over from the camera here. Okay, so we'll get ready to go in three, two, one. I must mention these are both connected to the same internet connection. Look at that, Safari is actually quite a lot faster than the one on the left here. Massively faster, I might add. Although it's not finished loading yet. And the loading bit in the top left, that's finished loading over on the right. And it's basically there over on the left. Um, so, Safari is definitely a bit quicker there. And I think for scrolling as well, it feels, Safari still feels a bit smoother. Um, let's try another one. Let's try uh, nytimes.com. Oh, you know what? Let's do that. And over here, the same. Oh, got to click cross again. nytimes.com. I'm not sure how much of an accurate test this is, but here we go. So Safari on the right, Chrome on the left. And that time Chrome's faster. A lot faster. And they're both about there. Oh, they both actually finished loading at exactly the same time. Um, I want to do one more test. Uh, what website shall we pick? Let's try the... YouTube homepage. YouTube.com is already there. And I'm guessing it'll be the same over here. And go. Okay. Chrome was faster on the left there. Now, um, I must say that I did clear the browsing history, um, or the cache, I should say. Not necessarily the uh, saved websites, though. I don't know if that makes much of a difference. But just to make sure, we will now open up Chrome on the right and Safari on the left. Now, the first website we went to, we'll do the same test again. Dailymail.co.uk And over here daily mail 
www.sbs.co.uk. Okay. Three, two, one, go. So this time Chrome is on the right and Safari is on the left. Last time Safari was faster with this website and it seems like it is again over on the left this time. Safari loading faster though the bar is still going along and they're both about there at the same time again. Just the advert hasn't loaded in the top right on Chrome. So it seems it depends on the website because Daily Mail really likes Safari a lot more than Chrome and we switched iPads over to check that it wasn't the iPad. Uh, let's try one more, or oh, two more, I should say. We'll try the nytimes.com and the same on Chrome, nytimes.com and three, two, one, go. So last time... New York Times loaded faster on Chrome over on the left, so they're about the same, to be honest. I think, so. oh, they both loaded at exactly the same time there. Not much difference in it. Some things loaded faster on the left than the right, but they both finished at the same time. So the last test was YouTube, which isn't a very good test to do, to be honest. By the way, on Chrome, I like the adding of the buttons up the top rather than mixing them in like they do on Safari. Just a little feature I like. Okay. YouTube.com. Three, two, one, go. Okay, the desktop site loaded up on the right there for some reason. And the mobile one on the left. But Chrome managed to load the desktop site faster than Safari loaded the mobile site on the left. Um, to be honest, I don't think there's much in it. It depends on site for site to be to look at it this way. Um, this isn't a very accurate test, I know. And I know a lot of you are going to complain about the way I've done this test. But this just shows you, for speed, there's not much difference. But I think for usability, I think Chrome just pips it there um, for ease of use and for uh, syncing with your Chrome on your other devices and stuff like that. Um, but Safari is still a great app, um, but I've just, I would pick Chrome over Safari just because I've used it longer. Before I even switched to Mac, I was using Chrome on my PC. But that's just me. Um, not much difference in it as we saw. So uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be nice. I know that this wasn't the most accurate test. I'm aware of that. Uh, so let me know what you think. Uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you like these videos. Um, follow on twitter.com forward slash juicy tuts. And thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye.